Good morning, America! Welcome back to another episode of the Edmonton Oilers GM Franchise. When I'm your GM, Martin, joined by the one and only Steven. Yeah, I guess we're going a little different, a little bit different today. Uh, yeah, that was that was the intro. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Like he said, we're here uh, for this, the year two, year one off season. I know what year we're in. Uh, and probably the start of year two as well. So, Martin, do you want to give uh, do you want to give the people a quick recap of how our year one went? Uh, we got cocked by the sim. Uh, we were given a terrible coach, and we didn't make the playoffs. But our rival in Alberta did. Yep. We didn't pass the second round though. We still had a decent regular season. We had. We were close to making it. Maybe if we had won four games at the end of that season, we could have done, could have made it. Yeah, I but I remember one thing specifically about the Western Conference, about how Winnipeg was sixth in their division with 97 yes. points, missed the playoffs. And Seattle had 90, or 87 <laughs> points and made the playoffs. And yeah, to think that that could have been us or Vancouver making the playoffs and like even like Calgary was worse than Winnipeg but only by one point same thing with Vegas only a couple points back but still the fact that an 87 point team made the playoffs we were just given a bad hand I think the next year we need to make the playoffs 100% uh, we need to make changes and we gotta we gotta start now we got salary cap issues and we wanted to resign some guys we got coaches we got a fire and yeah. this guy in particular exactly and I, I think when when you were saying we got changes to make and we gotta make them now i think this is the perfect way to start the out start off the episode so let's just uh fire just everything do this look at that and it'll cost us nothing it's like the That's game right. wants us to fire him thing um did you know that parade in french means paradise well guess what he can go off to his own little private paradise and he exactly. can figure out where that is because it ain't here in edmonton bitch you're gone you can, you can go as god to, to fucking <laughs> yes <get. he> can. <laughs> so <laughs> find paradise <laughs> so we were looking before um to see which uh coach could replace him and we found this guy here piero ben so another french canadian is coming in He's, yeah. he's doing the work, you know. He he hasn't been anywhere yet. He's got no 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 data to display at this time, but I mean he maxes out McDavid, and that's pretty much all that matters to us. Yeah, we want to be focusing on him. Although I don't I don't think that this guy is for us. I, I not for long term. No, I agree. I think just to to start off, he's got B for offense and defense categories. Um, what else did I want to say? Can I go next page? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, L1. <coughs> L1 again. Okay, there. Uh, roll four lines. Yeah, we want someone that eventually will roll three lines, mm -hmm. maximize the time for those guys. Four lines will be will be okay for now, as long as we can work around McDavid for now. Right. Around that full bar we get from him. Because well, no other coaches. Yeah, but now you're in like the B territories. We want to stay in the A territory. This guy's an A. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So well, like I'm just four million dollars versus. Exactly. Yeah. I was just yeah. looking at other guys just to see what they rolled. They all roll four lines, to be honest. There's no because unless they're <laughs> offensive, they're not going to be doing anything else. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. That's good to know. Um, here's our former guy here. What What did he do? He was just normal. Normal. Yeah. Yeah, Wouldn't anyways. normal be four four lines? I don't. I don't. Yeah, get it. I, I don't get what the difference is either. But yeah, you're right. This guy's a forwards and rolls three lines. Interesting. I did. I didn't. Uh, didn't know that in the past. Maybe. Hopefully, we get more out of here because I don't see any forwards or coaches that are. Yeah, I think. Yeah, just for now, our best bet is to just go with uh, Pierre Ombe. So we will. Yeah, we'll just we'll just offer him that. Let's see what he says. Uh, now we do need associate, assistant, and goalie, and we need a full AHL squad as well. Um, look at that! The guy we fired—he now wants to be an associate coach. He's yeah, given up on the head point coach. Nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a little over. That's a lot of money for an associate. Yes, yeah, so absolutely. So I think, I think I crazy found out something about with the coaches, and it has to do with 
I think the associate coach is kind of like your offense and defense coach, like your five on five assistant yeah. coach. And I think the assistant coach is your special teams coach. At least that's what I found. Okay. So I don't know if that's fully true. Maybe that's just I, me. I haven't I haven't uh, thought about that, but hey. Yeah, so give that a shot. usually for associate, I like to go with someone. I don't really look at these two columns here. I look at the offense, defense, and then teaching and uh, coach influence because that always helps. Yeah. Uh, now, it is the year one offseason. We're not going to find much. Maybe, maybe this guy for now. He'll yeah, do. he's a forward coach. We, we want to have some. He's got B minus and B. It's not bad. His teaching and influence, again, isn't great. But, again, we'll try finding someone better in the future. This is just for now. I mean, this guy would be the next guy, but he wants one mil. And I don't want to hand out that kind of money to no. an associate. Not so for a B, B minus. Like, well, I'll take the other guy. Yeah. Uh, which, where was he? This guy here. So, yeah. Henry Zygamanis. Uh Yeah, you can be our Two associate. Two years you. Okay. You oh, sorry. I'm giving him four. We can always well, fire him. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it doesn't matter. Um, now, this you one. You could have just signed another associate <clears throat> coach. Could. Actually, you know what? Could do that, too. Because there was actually, there were some good ones. Where were they? They were higher up, though, so they want more money. Actually, this guy. Look at it. This guy. Do you like him? Do you like him? They're, actually, this guy's a bit better, but he does want more. Damn it. <laughs> I would go for that guy, yeah. This guy here, yeah. Yep. Just the influence to see. I mean, that's, again, I guess not really the worst thing. Penalty kill, though. That should be good. We had the second worst penalty kill last year. We want to have the stability. And yes. That's a good step forward. Yes, and exactly. Now uh, the goalie coach, you can actually just get a generalist coach. And put yeah, there. the goalie coach, uh, usually they're always they're always here for some reason. They're always the AHL assistants. <laughs> go, uh, go, go to just all coaches. And yeah. so, yes, teaching. See, go all, all, all of them are AHL coaches, though. For, yeah, I guess now. Uh, stop the defenseman one, uh, B minus teaching. All we really need to do, though, is these two. Coach influence. Just yeah. These. So there's the defenseman coach down there, A and B minus. You put him as a. Yes, he. He wants a pretty penny, though. That's, I mean, if we have the money, why not? Uh, well, that's the thing. I don't know. Well, we offered... <laughs> what have we offered so far? We've offered four to our head coach. Um, oh, God. Actually, I can't remember. We can submit. Sorry, he wants we'll, three. We can submit and then see what... I know. What he wants have. three. He wants 800. He wants 800. So we're looking right now at, like, just under five and we have 6.9 in total and we still need to fill out our ahl bench that's why i would think I'd well did we do the budget yet did we fix that up you know what i think uh i don't i don't believe so actually so let's do that right now then let's get this fixed give us a little extra money yeah uh, make sure everything's out of there everything's out of there scouts i think i need to leave it like that i i can't i can't oh no you, you need to leave <laughs> Unless, oh, I guess that's all I could do. I could just add one hundred and fifty thousand. That's all. So, there's no, there's no extra money anywhere else. Nope. That uh, advertising nothing. or that nothing, 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 nothing. I, I, I just have to make took sure the beginning of the season that we we don't put any money in uh, promotions and stuff like that. I, I always do leave it at minimum. Always. Oh yeah. Okay, so um, I guess we're screwed with this. Yeah, that's that's the money we have for coaches. Um, it's just the okay. way it is. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So now we have seven mil. I, I added a hundred thousand dollars in there, so we have a bit more to spend. Uh, but well, yeah, let's like just I, let's just see, because I don't think that the other coach will go away. So I, I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. I would just go to the. Let's go to free agency, figure okay. out maybe... Actually, we got to look at players here we want to trade away. And then exactly. we can look at free agency. Yes. Get that so, money out of the way. Yes, exactly. We need to free up cap space because we only have 2.4 mil right now and we still have four RFAs. Yeah. Uh, whether what we decide to do with them and whatnot, um, that's going to be interesting. I mean, we can see here who the RFAs are. We got Pooley RV who wants, I think, like four and a half for four years. Yamamoto, he just wants a small contract, like one or two years for like one point something million. Um, show me Yamamoto for a second. Does he have any uh, super sub abilities? Yes, he, he does. does. 
He does. He's got uh, elite edges, puck on a string, and tape to tape. Okay. Okay. Uh, same thing with McLeod. He has wheels. And okay. Pooley RV has big rig, close quarters, make it snappy, puck on a string, and unstoppable force. So these are all guys that I would like to keep. Exactly. Sure. Benson, he's more of just like... I don't know. I mean... <sighs> I don't really see him have a spot. Yeah, really. he's a guy. Maybe we can, we can trade him here, but... First things first, let's go with not McDavid. We're not trying to trade no. him. Uh, yeah. But we so we just signed Noah Dobson to a six year, eight and a half million dollar deal. It was a pain in the ass to get him. But yeah, yes, exactly. Which um, I think means that nurse is now on his way out. Is that correct? Can, can we have a look at him real quick? His extension did just kick in as well. So this is his new deal. His eight-year, $9.25 million deal. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that hurts. Yeah. Deal. It, like, good player. He's well-rounded, but, like, he's good defensively and physically. Skating's all right. Uh, passing is good as well. Offensive awareness is there. His poise is nice, uh, but I just don't know if we can afford it. Like, for an 87 overall, getting $9.2 million, it just doesn't do it for me. It's it's a hard bet because there's a chance he's 27. He's not he's not old. He's still in his prime years. So there is a chance that he could go back, you know, go up to an 89 or 90 overall. Mm -hmm. He's got the superstar abilities. Whether uh, he's gonna fit well enough in the coaching system, yeah, I, I would hope anyways. Um. What else? Cam well, Atkinson, he's, he's, he's... We just he's, traded for yeah, him, we too. we got him, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if that would look good on us if we just move him right away. I think Hyman, he's got to sure. go. yeah. So, we'll... He's got little to no trade value. Yeah, we'll just see. Looks like a fourth, a couple fourths. We got a third from Boston here, third from Colorado, third from Columbus. Lots of thirds, so it looks like a third will be the best we can get. He's flying through this. Yeah, a third is the best. So get rid of all these other trades that we don't really need to look at. Um, out of Detroit, there's I think the third and a fourth. Or? Yeah, I think I've ever seen that. A third and a fifth, okay. which is I think is going to be our best offer. Yeah, third. I think it's definitely going to be better than uh, Boston's pick. Yeah, I yeah we'll see. Like some of them, it's like a third this year and a fifth next year. Some of them, it's the third is next year and the fifth is this year's. Or uh, sometimes it's both. I mean, I don't know. We we'll see. Like who? I really don't. I do, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't either. How about just tell me where to stop? Stop. <laughs> there we go. Pittsburgh, yeah, you you've won <laughs> the Zach Hyman roulette wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. We're sending him to Pittsburgh. He can go play there. Is CC a guy? I think he's a guy too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, he had a really good season for us, but I can't. can't. Oh, wow, we can get a second. second? We can get a second from That's Anaheim. Um, let's keep going here. It could be third and a fourth. No, not like that second. That second's the best. Oh, yeah, let's take Skinner. Okay, we got Calgary second and a seventh. Carolina second and a seventh. Uh, no, no, no. There's so many trades. There's 33 still to go through. <laughs> 44 in total. Yeah, that's wild. Um, still, yeah, unless there's a second, I'm not stopping for it. I just don't want to click too fast. Okay, there's another second there. Two, I don't know. Uh, another second. Uh, another Pittsburgh again. That's crazy. <laughs> Pittsburgh just wants to take all of our guys. A second and a fourth. That's it. That's the best one right now. Unless someone could beat it late here. Unless someone could beat it late. Let's see. A second and a seventh. That ain't going to do it anymore. It's a second and a fourth. Yep. Second and a fourth. Tampa Bay, you have won Cody CC. Congratulations. Nice. That, I win another cup. I like that one too, though, because it's a second round pick next year. So it, it spreads out our picks. Like, Well, the pick from Pittsburgh was next year's third. Was it? At, uh, no. It was, oh, yes, it was. So, and look at that. We don't even have our second for next year either. So that just replaced our second. We now have two thirds. Uh, we so. don't have a first this year. So our second round pick this year is staying with us. Like we can't yeah. trade that second round pick. So that's fun. Um, but anyways, going back to here. Salary. 
Celery. Is there any? Yes, Celery. Um, <laughs> is Fogel a guy? Like 26, 80 I, well, overall. Yeah, get rid of him. If he's got no superstar abilities, there's no reason to be paying yeah, him that he, much money. Yeah, you're out, buddy. Sorry. Good player in real life. Like you in real life, but yeah, just uh, there's a fourth. Four payment. I think the fourth is going to be a fourth and a seventh, I guess. Tampa's fourth, though, so I don't know what that's going to be. Yeah, I don't know. Do hey, you want the fourth alone or the fourth and the seventh? Fourth and a seventh. All right, Ottawa, congratulations. Warren Fogel is yours. Yay. Um, so with that, we are now up to $11.4 million of cap space available. And we still have Nurse as an option, but I think, yeah, I think holding on to Nurse for now might be the right idea. It could be. It could very well be. Uh, Derek Ryan, he's like a fourth line guy anyways. He he might even be our, I think he's like our healthy scratch, to be honest. So we can hold on to him. It's only one more year. Uh, I am very hesitant on trading uh, Nurse away. Yeah. He still, he still looks good. And with the new coach that we picked... It might work out better for him. Yeah, like Nurse was one of the guys that does benefit from that. So, yeah, I think I think we'll keep him for now at least. Um, the only thing is, just looking. So we got our goalie. Oh, Stuart Skinner is an eighty-one. Oh, <sighs> what yeah. do we do? <laughs> um, can you check Skinner for me, Stuart Skinner? Of course. Uh, I now don't care about him. Um. Those were uh, now those were stats when he got called up. This is what he did last year in the AHL. Like, I, if he if he stayed in the AHL, if he died, no, okay, that's me. If he <laughs> if, if he's just stayed in the AHL for the rest of his life, I would not care. So you're just saying we trade him then? Yeah, like he's got no value. He's not. Smith has more though, and yeah. I saw I did see Smith doesn't want to resign. Although I think he will most likely retire. I think it it's fine if we keep just all three of them. Right, there's no, there's no really? need to uh, Yeah, you know what? I mean... May, if, unless if it, these other goalies we have, if they have any superstar abilities, the, the 23, this guy's sure. Schooner, Schooner's 23 too. He, if he's going to take over Smith, I don't think I don't see him as a permanent backup. Okay. Personally, okay, yeah. I, I think no. he's, he is a backup, uh, but... All right, we'll leave him in the okay. AHL for now then. Uh, defenseman, we have one, two, three, Broberg. It looks like he's ready. One, two, three, Broberg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got four there. Uh, so we need at least two more. I don't mind Cuckoo or Keith as the healthy scratch. I think Keith, that's okay. I can, Keith, well, let's see if Keith again. He's got superstar abilities. No, he's no, not. He doesn't. I just get rid of him. You want to just try? I mean, it's only one more year of 1.125. I'm. It's not a two-way deal. It's a one-way deal. Yeah, so but I'm okay with just leaving him there. Let's see how much money it'll t it'll cost us to get these RFAs yes, back, of and then then we can go ahead and look in the free agency, see Eight. what what need we have to play with, and if if we need that extra dough, we, you know, junk and features, there we go. I I honestly think we do need to free up some cap of entry but yeah let's start with our own guys first um so we'll go to view contracts here um right we'll get to extensions after first yeah. things first let's go to right, our cool. guys here so first one uh, i guess we'll start with pooley arby yeah, actually go in the cloud go in the cloud okay yes okay now just eight years <laughs> just just that yeah <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm th if he would, I don't think he would accept that. When you're an RFA, it's a little, it's a little more tricky. It's not. It doesn't work the same way with the 85. That's that's true. That's true. Usually, you got to go a bit closer to what they want. Maybe like, like that. Then, just take a little bit off, or maybe even go up to 1.8. No, you don't have to give him more. Uh, you don't have to do that. So I'm thinking that then. I think if, that would work. It will work. I just. Uh, I hate locking guys in for you eight years. You don't have to do, yeah, I don't do eight years. Do like do I can do four, four years at 1.5. Yeah. So yeah. he's he's still an RFA at the end. And he's not too exp he, he's not too expensive yeah. on our fourth line if if we put him there. And he's a top nine potential. Like, I can't see him growing to anything higher than like an 83. So at the end of this contract, it's not like he's going to ask for that much unless like we absolutely kill it. Yeah. And he's like, hey, like I want to get paid like a first liner. 
Benson can stay in RFA for the rest of his life. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep him there. Uh, Yamamoto, or I think Yamamoto, he wanted something like, yeah, we can go eight years like that with him. Um, we can also do a 2.5 for six years. Six years, yeah. You like that one? Yeah. I think I like that too. That's good. Takes him right, so he's 29. Yeah. Then we can give him a seven year deal if yeah. he's good and. That'll, that'll drag him through. Exactly. Pulley RV. Let's see. This is um, only 5.6 for eight years. That's not that bad. It depends where we see him. Were we able to see his line fit with the coach? I uh, can't remember. I don't think so because he's in the system. So he doesn't show up on the NHL team. Give him the eight-year deal, and if he doesn't fit, we're gonna have to find a new guy. All right, but we're banking on home the home talent. You know, this guy could be a good fit with Dry Saddle and David. Remember, with Dry Saddle, maybe he's a seventy percent fit, not a full. Like McDavid yes, is. yes, exactly. Uh, he could be. He could be a full fit. You know, you never know. Benson, 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 Benson. I don't care about him. I think I'll just go one year. I don't want him at all. No? You don't want him at all, eh? Okay. No use. No use to me. All right. Fair enough. We'll just leave him as an RFA then. Uh, okay. So we got those guys offered. What's what's our situation right now with for, like, depth? What, what do we need? We, we just signed well, Yamamoto and Oyarvi right. and McLeod are coming in. What else are we looking at here? Right. So that is exactly what we're going to take a look at. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he shouldn't be our eight. He should really be like 13 or 14 for us. I don't even want him on my team at 1.25. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You are starting to speak a lot of facts right now. These guys, we can get players, you know, that are better than that. And I do recall that the two-way market was not too... Oh, there we go. We've got another fourth. Three. Fourth and seventh out of Florida. So it looks like Florida will be the winner this time. Yeah, possibly. Unless, nope. Tampa Bay comes out with a third or something. <laughs> yeah, as they always do, apparently. Um, so yeah, Derek Ryan, you're off to Florida. Have fun in the sun. Uh, Benson, I think we will see if we can get rid of him. Oh, he's not on a contract. Oh, my God. Is there a faster way to this? There it is. Anyone want him? Oh, fourth and then six. Fourth. Jeff Skinner, can can you actually have a look at Jeff Skinner? No, we can't even afford him. You, I was going to say, that's good. We can't even afford him. Yeah. Um, let's send him to the east. Let's go Washington. Sure. Why not? It's a fourth this year, so why not? We get the pick right away. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Was there anyone else that was kind of like on that fringe that we were like, ah, we don't need him? Go. Keith. He is on that fringe, and I don't mind getting rid of it. <laughs> okay, you know, I think how many one, years is, is it's like a he is one year left. <laughs> so some team has to take him first. That's what that's what I was gonna do. I was just gonna manually find a trade for him. Uh, we're just gonna get rid of him. For, if anyone shows up green for him, we'll send him there. If not, we'll just put him back on Chicago. Read my mind. All right. Uh, yeah, Chicago. <laughs> Hey, Chicago. Uh, <laughs> take him back. Oh, you know, we'll take both of them. <laughs> that, that's okay. Uh, I, know, I think we're going to have to put our seventh as well. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it, it, like, just went through as well. So now we have $17 million in cap space. That's a lot better than where that's we were. a lot were. more. Yes. Uh, no, apparently it's 12.2, but... What? The number just changed. Yeah, now it's 12 point... Okay, that was weird. You Your saw that before, too, that? right? Like, I didn't. I didn't. So under salary cap, it showed 70 million out of 87 million. Now it just, I went in here, backed out, and it updated to 74 million. Ha, jokes on you. Actually, I think I might know why it did that, because we traded away some guys, so it, like the game automatically called up guys. So it just, when we sign guys, it will replace them. And like, you'll see, it will make sense. Um, anyways, I think I was in the right screen. Actually. We still had to do some more counting. Uh, see what we have here. Uh, we, we might have to. Yeah, let's just see what we need defensively. So we need two. We Maybe need our top four can be Dobson, Nurse, Bouchard, and Broberg. 
Right? Like, we just go with these guys as the future. Oh, I think, are they both? No, offensive in two way. Good. So, Broberg, is he ready for a top four position? Does it say he's a top, no, he's top six? It says he's but, top six, but I mean. He could be an 82 next year. Well, let's by the start. see. Let's see. So, we got Bouchard. Let's look at him. And we'll look at him. I mean, do they complement each other? So if they're going to be playing together. Well, it depends on their, their X factors if they're, if they're the same or not. That's very true. Oh, my God. I just realized Broberg is a skating, like, phenom. phenom. Yeah, like, he's got wheels as his zone ability. Elite and then edges. elite edges and the backward skating one as well. He's got in that's reverse. Awesome. So that's, that's a good one right there. Yeah, when he, when he develops, like, his full speed, when he, like, reaches a 90 or whatever in that, like, speed and agility acceleration category... He's just going to be he's going to be fun to use. At least like if we were going in game, he'd be a fun player to use. That's for sure. Now, forward wise again, how much do we need here? A lot. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> we need f at least five more guys. Plus then, I mean, I don't care if they could be the healthy scratches. I'm OK with that. So we need. Yeah, we need five more guys. Then. How much money do we have to work with? 12.2 million and we need to sign nine players in total 12 no so 12 minus yamamoto minus mcleod oh minus my god Poyardi. yeah oh my god <laughs> oh <laughs> baby so atkinson does have to go <laughs> 1.4 for mcleod uh, then yamamoto was two three million dollars uh, two and a half for for five years yeah so right there, that's four million. So another four million from Poy. It was five million actually for Poy RV. So we have about three million dollars left to play with. Great. <laughs> Getting rid of, like now let's go have a look at the free agency. Yeah. See what we can get for depth defense. We at a cheap uh, amount. I think I want I want players that are responsible uh, skaters and. Um, moving yes i fully agree with that so we need to go here to the cheap end go into the bargain bin do two way again yeah for sure this is this is very bargain bin now it's <laughs> huge bargain bin okay let's Jeez. go back yeah we need to we need to stick with over here we may need to pay like a guy one mil or something like that Just like at one point who's that one point hayden flurry hayden flurry Lefty, righty. He doesn't scream reliable to me and trustworthy. He's slow. He's not the best offensive. Wow. Okay, he's not too slow. Let's. Uh, I mean, we're talking. We're talking about a bottom <laughs> six defenseman. Yeah, which he doesn't. Bottom pairing defenseman. Sorry. I don't know. I I'd like the defensive awareness a little bit higher. I know I'm probably picking at like thin air here like even a guy like brad hunt normally i like but again he just, 80s everywhere except for one play for, for physicality yeah we can bring back matt benning <laughs> uh, eh. it's gonna we'll be go. hard to be to signing these guys michael stone yeah i know he's just hard he's just not good at puck skills yeah same thing all these guys are atrocious Ooh, 23 Robin, years old. Robin Salo. He's 23. If he, if he wants a two-way deal. Yeah, I guess. Uh, might as well, right? Since the two-way, yeah. Yeah. Let's right. offer him anyways. If, if he if he wants one. Oh, no, he doesn't. What? Why? Oh, he. Oh, yeah. We're not searching by two-way anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, well, you can always. I don't know what the the, the max is for two way deal is, but uh, if it's if it's the same amount, then you just ship him the two way, and if he doesn't accept, he doesn't accept. Nine fifty. Ah, then we can it. try it. Ah, forget I'm about willing. It. I'm willing to try it. So okay, we, you want to try it? There's no harm in trying, right? You're you're right. Ilya Labushkin, huh? No, he's he's like the rest. Yeah, he's exactly better. like the rest. Yeah, Hunt is Hunt is so far. I was guy that, uh, not too, too, like it's a good deal. It did the thing. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why did I fall for that? Yeah, Hunt. I think Hunt. I am. I'm liking him just because of his speed. Uh, we and, we might need to trade Cam Atkinson. 
Yes, I, I agree too. Yeah, I think Hunt's a guy, yeah, like you said, he's got 80s everywhere except for fighting, so he's solid. He can play. Uh, let's just hope he fits with our new coach. Um, I, I, I do wonder if we should just sim first. Um, yeah, because some of these guys are still going to be there. That's right. And we're going to be hit, hitting on depth players anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we can do that then. We can sim ahead to see what we have and what we're left with. Um, you did mention something. I'm trying to think now uh, oh, what, what it was. Awesome. I can't remember. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> what was it, Steven? I, I don't remember. Uh, getting a Rodrigo for a four. That's cheap. That's nothing. Uh, let's see this. This should be all the... Yeah, these are all the... Off camera, signed a bunch of scouts, so these are all them. <laughs> the worst of the worst. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't much to choose with. The best was a C overall. It's okay. The one name, one name you will see, you will recognize. Uh, let's see where he is. Come on, that show one? up. <laughs> show up. Nope. Oh, one. Okay. Hey, we got the coach. That's nice. awesome. Uh, we got another coach. Uh, that was the assistant, I believe. Keep going here, waiting for more. There he is. It's a Dan O'Chara. We got, yeah, so we got Big Z as a Legend. scout for us. So that's Where is gonna, he scouting at? I think he's an NHL scout, I believe. Okay. So he'll be, he'll be looking around at other teams. Probably put him in the Atlantic, scouting his old Bruins. Of course. Uh, yeah. Um, All right, get us to the contract signing. Yeah, I mean, there's Come a lot on, of there's like 14 scouts that I had to hire. <laughs> yeah, here's more. <laughs> oh my god. Here's Henry Zigaman is did not want to, he doesn't like our team's market, so he will decline. Well, you're a bitch. You said it. McLeod is back. Nice. Puyarvi is back. Yamamoto is back. He didn't want the two-way. End of story. <laughs> All right. Let's go to free agency now. Yeah, let's see what that leaves us with first. Um, sure. Oh, six mil. 5.2 to be exact. That's better than what I thought. All right. So, yeah, Cam Magnuson gone? You can, you can do it. it, was, it was I mean, I'd, I'd just have a, have a look at the free agency first. To see yeah. if we can get a super sell for cheap. Cam Magnuson's... Got so yeah, he, he did perform, but you know that's with the coach that we didn't really pick, that's right? That's true. That is so true. So he's he's still got value. A guy who uh, can play on the second line or, or you know, coach game. Okay. Although I still think though, because I believe with our new coach, yeah, I guess I mean eh. it's not that great, but yeah, it's not the best. That's why I'm saying I don't mind just getting rid of him now. We desperately need money, or else we're gonna have like 78 playing. What on are we gonna be line. using all this? We got Ryan McLeod as a third liner, or do we have the, the third line covered? Like it's either Nuge or McLeod. Like on the third line? Yeah. Now sort by, by affordable. <laughs> affordable. Oh boy! <laughs> I mean, we're spending all of our money there. Oh, oh so look at that! That's What's why that? we're screwed in cap. The Oilers bought out someone, and we're stuck with three point four million in buyout penalty. Who's that? I don't know. We're also retaining point seven five on someone. <laughs> that might be us. Um, that might have been us. I just want to. Sorry, I just want to see how long these penalties last for. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm good with oh that. my god! So we have them. Okay, so one of the buyouts drops, but then there's still someone else that. Oh my god, we're not cleared for like another four seasons. Oh. Oof. I could go bargain bin shopping. Oh, who did they buy out? I'm trying to think now. It was Turris? I think he was one of them. Okay. I can't remember who the other guy you have was. Better memory than I do. I mean, uh, I can check quickly here. I'm curious now. My brain's going. I need to see this. I need to see who it is. So, James Neal. <laughs> And no. Andre Sakara. I was wrong. It's not. Um, it's not <laughs> what's his name. It wasn't Turris. Yeah. So Sakara is only here for one more season. His okay. buyout, which is one point five mil, and then James Neal's one point nine million is for this year, next season, and the season after. And the retained salary is on Lucic actually, which only is one more year. 
Okay. All right. So, so yeah, none of that was us. We we're being good GMs here. We're trying to fix Shirelli's problems <laughs> that he left us with. Yeah. Oh God. Right, sort by affordable again. Yes, of course. Okay, now let's go down the list. See who's got. I know. Perone's got a superstar abilities. Yes, he does. He's got three actually. So that's not bad. Anyone else maybe a little cheap? I'll should I sort by forwards or just leave yeah, it? Yeah, sort by forwards. Okay, yeah, that makes it easier. Uh, there's Radulov, 36 years old though. I'm with speed like. Oh, that's our old coach as well. Uh, speed 87, 80. Yeah, he's, his speed's good. Yeah, he's still got he's still got offense on him. He's still very yeah very solid everywhere. Uh, yeah. Can't lie. Uh, anyone else? Athanasiu, yeah, he's got, he's fast. He, former Edmonton Oilers. Was, yeah, was he? Oh, he was with them a while ago, yeah. That's yeah. right. Uh, only for a bit. That's or right. right when COVID happened. Uh, Martin Furk? How come I can't? Okay. <laughs> it just did that weird thing where yeah. it wouldn't allow me to go back. Now you're at the beginning so, again. Yeah, it's okay. I remember he was like an 80. Yeah. Come on, there he is. He's got Heat Seeker and One T. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, looking here. What's this? Uh, I guess this fit doesn't matter. Yeah, not a guy I want to bring in, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> so let's go back to our trade. <laughs> this is so difficult. Yes. Wait, I think I think Atkinson has to go. That's a failed experiment. We'll take the L. Go to go sort by forwards, please. Um, yeah, overall. One, two, three, four, five. But who, you're gonna put David Perron there on a, uh, on this. Instead of Kim Atkinson, I mean he's cheaper. And then what are you gonna do for the third line? That's what I mean. That's I don't even think we can afford Perron. I'm being right. I'm being honest. Well, here. Then we have our, our top six is just trash. Oh boy, we don't have our first round pick either. That's an Anaheim. Oh man, what have we done well, to this team? <laughs> I, I don't think it's too bad. I think it's, it's we just gotta maneuver through it properly. Get second and a third is the best we can get for him. The best we can do, we get the best pick, okay? But the best we can do um, is to just fill out the depth. I guess you, you're you right on not being able to get David Prawn. It's probably not realistic. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think the second round pick this year would be better, so Nashville. Sure. All right. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> so let's just look at our draft picks now. We got two seconds this year. Lots of fourths. Uh, lots of sevenths. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, and for next year, first, second, we got a couple thir three thirds. Yeah, okay. We're looking good for draft picks. I'm, I'm happy about that, but. Wow. <laughs> um, are we kind of screwed? No, oh, we're fine. We now have 10 million to spend. We still need the same amount of players. <laughs> so uh, we need uh, two more solid third liners. Actually, yes. We need it. We need, yeah, we need three actually. One that can actually maybe play on the second line. Hello, Johan Larson. He's not really a second line guy, but uh, for a second line guy, maybe we go with like. Dennis U is a guy that I don't mind. He's got great speed. He can be offensive. He's not really a defensive guy, but... All that's... he really has is speed, though. Like, I mean, looking at stats with the Kings last year, I don't... So the Kings didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. Keep that in mind. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'd do it. I'd take a fantasy you. 2.4, I mean, it's not bad. 2.4 isn't bad. It's cheaper. Like, yeah, Radulov would be tough. Plus, there's teams interested in We're going in younger, too, with the fantasy U. Yeah. So, I think... Yeah, all these guys have interest as well. Like, I don't know where Perron has interest. Yeah, we need, we can't compete with other teams right now. No. 
All right, Athanas, you try and bring it back. Blue, he's going to be the big piece, sadly. It's a terrible <laughs> big piece. Uh, yeah, maybe... Uh, who else do we add in? There's someone cheap here. Yeah, Larson, maybe just for, like, I don't know, some, like, fourth line or something like that. I, like... He's not bad. Yeah, right? Like, he's, he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll bring him in as well. That's two. We need three more forwards. Okay. Oh, Mason Appleton. Mason um, Appleton. He's not really good defensively for a two-way forward. No, you're you're right about that. How about Cousins playmaker? Eh. Um, Spezza. Jeez, you want money? Martin Furk. Furk has. I mean. We, yeah, he's he's got good. He's decent. He's Never a mind. hard shot, just not accurate at all, <laughs> and he's fast. But yeah, well, who else is in on him? Though that's a the thing. There's three other teams. Uh, one year, one point five would probably be good enough. I'll go one point three five. Okay. I don't know how much we'll be able to spend on these guys. I want to have. I want to leave us with some space as well. Ryan okay. Donato. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, his defense is about the same as Fur. That's the thing. It's like everyone... I don't think... I don't know if we're getting much higher than that. Like, I probably... I it's can't by sort, by, this, by, yeah. sort by defense. Just a, defensive yeah. awareness. Here we go. No, okay, not defensive awareness. Uh, so now we know it's sorted by that. We'll go back to looking at overall... Sort by affordable. That's okay. It's okay. We can. We can. Here we go. We got right away. Aston Reese. Nice. Yeah. 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 I think. I think he's decent. Nick Paul as well. Look at that. Phil Castle. Yeah, we're gonna be able to afford, afford that. Oh yeah, I just saw his salary. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go to Nick Paul. But these I, two, I, yeah. It's gonna be Nick Paul or Zach Aston Reese. I'm loving Nick Paul right now. I, I actually like. Zach Ash and Reed, I like both yeah. to be honest and we we still need two more players so oh, we can just pick them both so yeah you want them both let's do it no one else wants them right now either so I hope it stays that way and they choose to sign with us because we're the first to approach them Nick Paul's ugly <laughs> uh, that, that gives some good reason to join us oh and my game crashed uh, <laughs> no oh boy <laughs> Please tell me, like, it had an auto save. Let's hope. Let's, let's hope, man. Oh, man, I can't believe that just happened. That's ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> didn't happen to us on the PS4, did it? No, it didn't. No, it did not. Uh, apparently, I guess the game doesn't like Nick Paul. <laughs> I thought it was ugly, too. <laughs> yeah. Either that or didn't like that. I called him ugly. I'm offended. It was like, hey, you really treat him with more respect than that. Some respect on that. <laughs> yeah, let's uh oh god, let's just let's hope an auto save saved us. Please. Oh my god, let's continue. Welcome back to NHL 22. <laughs> <laughs> We're here right. for a new GM mode at the start of the year one off season. A very exciting episode for you guys today. Okay. Oh my god. Good. So I think um let's just see where we left off. Is Cam Atkinson still a member of this team? That, that's a, that's going to be a telling sign of where we are. No, okay. he is gone. Okay. So Atkinson's gone. All right. Uh, let's, we tried to we'll assign him. To the field. Not, not there. Uh, I don't think anyone has been offered a contract, so we just need to do that again, which is not a big deal. That's, uh, that's Well, how many contracts offered? None. Oh, okay, sorry for me. No, it's okay. So if I remember correctly, we had... Athena CU. Yeah. Who did that change or did he always want that? I'm not sure. He wanted to something. Okay. I think, I think that's that's right. Ferk was another guy. Yep. Uh, let me go by forwards here. Uh, Ferk, Ferk, Ferk. Where the Ferk are you? There you are. Yeah, he had three teams interested in him, so that's still the same. Uh, go with that, yeah. He doesn't accept it. He doesn't accept it. Oh, well. Nick Paul's right there, actually, so we'll get him. We'll see if this crashes the game again. 
<laughs> no, we're good. <laughs> um, who were some of the other guys? Like Aston Reese. Aston Reese, yes. He has a long name, so that'll be okay. easy to find. All right. And who was the other guy? What was it? It was Johan Larson, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we passed him. He's somewhere up here. There he is. There. No, Zingle's too much. Uh, all right. That's uh, the forward. more defensemen. Yes, exactly. That's the forwards. Let's go defensemen. I think this will still leave us with like five million. So we can... I like spending more on defense. But again, options are basically the same. Um... Oh. I want a defensive defenseman on the third. Defensive, yeah. Okay, let's see who we got. These guys are too good. Mm. Edler. Yeah. For what he wants. I mean, for 2.2 .2 mil. Sim, sim days. Sim two days. All right, let's do that then. Yeah, let's uh, set the game another auto save in case he decides to uh, crash on me again. There you go. I'd like to see just how much money we actually have left. Yes. If we have a few games. Oh, it was a lucrative deal, apparently. Okay. Yeah, he signed quick. Look at that. I'd love to see it. Aston Reese signs. Uh, he decides to go with another. He decides to go with Tampa. Okay. That sucks. Fair enough. Nick Paul comes to us. So does Johan Larson. All right. So we, we only need to, to, yeah, three guys. We only need three guys, and we have seven mil. Oh, okay, good. We can, we can spend a bit now. This is what I like. Let's go, Kai. <laughs> oh God, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, we can actually spend our last four we're here. We can spend on someone who will play in our top four, which is sort of nice. Our top six? You mean? Sorry, that's what I meant. That's exactly yeah, what I mean. How about we have to look at it? Like, sort by affordable, man. Jesus. Okay, sorry. I mean, it doesn't matter. Cause, like, the only guys that aren't yeah, affordable yeah. are these two. Okay. Well, I'd just rather get rid of them. So, okay, here. There. They're gone. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, can we just sort superstar and see if, who's got superstar abilities? I think Burkowski maybe has some. No, he no. does not. I think everyone's gone because Perron's gone. Ferk is gone. Thing is gone. I have no attachment to anything anymore. <laughs> um, All right. Well, I mean, we can just take a look at what these guys look like, at least individually. Uh, I mean, I'm okay with any of these guys. Really. Like, Kasha or Trocek would be nice. Kasha especially. I think Kasha. Okay, go with him. All right. Let's go, Kasha. He's a sniper, too. Um, Five million. There's teams that want him, yeah. What if we go I don't. I don't really want to pick him up. So we'll go short then. We'll go. I would rather. I'd rather go and get a guy who's three million dollars than him. Okay, that's fine. Burakovsky. So Burakovsky, yeah. Yep. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think he fits the bill a lot better. We, we need more money on the defense. Yes, that's very true. No one else is going for him either, so we don't have to up money. Um, yeah, just two years two perfect. Years. All right, Defense. Defense. Um, so he was about what? How much was were we offering him? Three and a half? Was it? Yeah, three and a half. Yeah. So that leaves us with three million. No, four million. So we can spend two million on each defenseman. Ian Cole. Ian Cole. I love that. I love that. Hundred percent. Ian Cole. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Three years, though? Or do we... No. Yeah, two. One. Even one. Yeah. yeah. One. We'll give him the 1.65. I don't care. Um, what about you? I, I, like, I like him, but can we afford that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. We Because we have 4 million to spend on defense. Okay. And that's one point six. Someone does want him though, so we may have to up the money a bit. Or is this the guy that we go with? Like, because is Broberg gonna be playing third or second pairing? Second pairing. Second. So yeah, we are going second with him. Yeah. All right. Um, Eric Gustafson, Washington wants him. Um, I guess we'll just go two years. At. 
Sure. I guess he's 30 years old, so... Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> Should be good, hopefully. Uh, goalie, we don't need anyone. All right. Let's see if they sign. Get out of here. <laughs> we got Eric Gustafson. Nice. All right. So the only guy we're waiting for. How come, yeah, how does, that doesn't make sense. How does that this? Yeah. Sense. How does that make sense at all? Oh, we'll swap a third for your second, and we'll give you another third for your decent goalie. That like, like get out of here. And we got him. There we go. And oh, Berkowski. Forgot about him. <laughs> nice. Let's see if we have any more money to spend and. Yes, uh, of course. Again, how does this make sense? Swap thirds and Skinner is apparently worth the seventh. That's stupid. <laughs> well, he did have really low trade value, so. Uh, it's still, though, he's an 81 over. Like, I just don't understand. Oh, we still have Tyler Benson, who's an RFA. <laughs> we have 2.7 to spend, actually. Cool. There's what some money. So we three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, we actually need another forward. We miscounted here. One, oh, that's okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we need one more. I like we're lacking money. So no, let's go. we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, perfect. And then, awesome. So yeah, we just need one more forward. Um, which is okay. I mean, could be. No, it's, it won't be Tyler Benson. Let's be real here. <laughs> Um, so we go back there. Kadri and Bergeron still available. It's quite interesting. This one I will go affordable though. Um, hmm. Huh, a lot to choose from. Lots. Um. Nino Niederreiter. Uh, I think I'll pass on him for now. Maybe a guy like Stastny? Yeah, let's go. Stastny. I, mean, I just want to see if there's anyone else a little bit better. Better. I think it might be Stastny, though. I like his veteranship. He could bring to our team. It's another veteranship, too, if you want. But I think Stastny had it, yeah, had him covered on both ends. And he's only asking for 1.8, which is very decent. So, yeah, we'll go with uh, Paul Stastny. There I think we we're go. done. Yeah, that's it. Do we just, I guess, do we just check due, due diligence or now we're good here yet? Uh, I think we're good. I think maybe see if we can sign Evan Bouchard for next year. Oh, that's, a, that's very true. Very true. Uh, so let's see. Actually, I just want, hold on. I just want to see what is going on with Benson. Or did we trade him? Did yeah, he's gone. We him. <laughs> he yeah, is we gone. Yeah. Him. Oh, that's right. He was, uh, I don't know, Pittsburgh or someone like that. Yeah. Um, uh, anyone down here that needs an extension? Nope. <laughs> What about up here? So we have three guys. Shore and Cuckoo, whatever. Evan Bouchard. Yeah, 5x5. Five five. We can go up to an 8x5.7, which I think... I got 85 that. Yes, 100% I'm on it. Don't worry. Uh, 5.7 times 0 0.85. 4.845. So 4.85. I, I give him the 5 flat. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, that's true. Fair enough. All right. There we go, Evan. Hopefully you accept the deal. <laughs> the deal. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's pretty cool. And we get to keep Nurse as well, which at the start of this episode, I thought for sure he was going to be out the door. Agreed. So that's very nice. Oh, my God. You know, this is actually bothering me. Yeah. And you You're not train away gold. It didn't actually put one back. That's interesting. That's a first. Did it do it for the once? No, it doesn't. It only does that for surplus. Interesting. Okay. E Paul Stastny's on board, and Evan Bouchard resigns or er, extends for eight years. That's awesome. So I think we're done here. We can just. Oh no, we're not. I don't have an AHL coaching staff. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, that guy did not sign. Yeah. That guy didn't want to sign. Yes. Sword coach. Exactly. Um, yes. Yeah. So I'll just do first things first. So what? Oh, crap. What's our code? I'm sorry. Overload, overload, crash net, overload. Okay, that's easy to remember. I like to match the coaches. Okay. I actually don't really care about their... Oh, this guy's just all overload. <laughs> it's overload, overload, crash, overload. I don't know if we're going to find that, to be honest. Over oh, there it is. 
Yeah. What's his overall though? The C. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. Not really though. Let's Not get really. a forward. We're looking for a forward associate. I don't. And we're gonna be looking through offense and defensive. Well, oh, because I'm looking. This is AHL coach. Oh, okay. This okay. is yeah. This is AHL head coach. So Dealing with that. Um, now, yes, uh, like you said, forward coach. We need a, we, it's more important our NHL than our age. No, I, I definitely agree. Um, what was I saying? This guy? Uh, that guy's asking for a lot. This guy. Is it a man? Oh, he's the guy who rejected us. That's right. It's all perfect. Let's try it again. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how important money is to him. Because if we could sway him with money, this could, this could be a work. This could work. Yeah, how important is salary to you at the end of the day? He's willing to give a little le leeway, okay. So that just, okay, that doesn't, that doesn't really answer doesn't anything. Much, yeah. uh, I think he rejected us though because of our our market size, was it? Perhaps. I think it was. As long as you give him money, well, I think he'll be fine. Give him uh, yeah, one we'll point. Let's just see what the importance is for, to him. What do you say? It's critical. So... That, yeah, we'll really need to give him a lot of money. I don't know how much Dude, it's Just give work. him 1.1, man. He's going to accept. Then we won't have much money else. Okay, that's fine. We'll we have just $3 million. Dollars. Okay. If, okay. You don't, if you need three million, if you, if you need more than $3 million, there's a problem. All right. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right, we'll give him... Let's give, give him, him a mil. Yeah, I'll put him one... Plus the extra two hundred and fifty dollars, you know that okay. re that really goes a long way. Go buy yourself a steak. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we got those. Goalie coach. We need. Uh, I'll just take. Sure. <laughs> Why am I so indecisive? <laughs> it's not this hard. I know. I just I just do things like that, anyways. Uh, yeah, you'll be there. Uh, who's who else is there? It's cheap. You you can be for the AHL. Mark Baldwin. Um, Matthew Broadwick. <laughs> Broadwick. <laughs> All right. Um. Yes. 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 Uh, sorry, not really doing much talking right now. Doing more thinking. Figure it out here. Yeah, this guy. I like this guy to be the assistant in the AHL. Sure. So we'll do that. Give him, give him a little bit more money too, just to make sure. Give him a little bonus. Yeah, That's you know, a bonus. Um, um, say that again. What bonus? <laughs> <laughs> don't ever say it again. <laughs> what word? Do you, do you don't want me to say bonus? <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's enough for me. I'll it's stop annoying nonsense. you now. Uh, yeah, this guy. Philip Grenier. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a legend for us. Okay, look at him. Look at that face. <laughs> no one's Perfect. gonna say no to that face. <laughs> Alright, so we got six, yeah, six vacant spots, six coaches offered. Scouts, I will organize them later. They're all out of place right now. And we just go. We yep. go until they accept. He said no to us. Wow. <laughs> the guy who I said no one will say no to him said no to us. So we can just offer more money. Well. <laughs> All right, we got Barinka. He didn't even want us. Oh, my God. Yo, these coaches suck. Oh, this is the guy. <laughs> we hired two. We tried going to after two guys who had similar faces. <laughs> so that's the guy who I said can't say no to his face. He said yes to us. The other guy, though, said no. What a jerk face. Oh, God. So we need... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate this. Why does no one want to come? It's because we're a small market. Frickin' Edmonton. We need a win a cup. Yeah, we definitely do. Uh, okay, so... This guy didn't want to sign with us, if I remember correctly. Or was it this guy? Yeah, it was this guy. So Yeah, it was Bowden. We'll go with Saul Kreider. Better call Saul, you know? Better call Saul. Uh, we'll give him we'll give him a, just to make sure he signs. Yeah, better call Saul. Saul Kreider. He's Chris Kreider's dad. Um, what else do we got here? We need two associate coaches. That's right. Okay, one for the NHL. So this is the guy who declined us. Yeah. I guess we'll go for him. 
Then Lemaire. I'd, I'd rather. I'd you wanna... want forwards, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then this guy. Okay. Simon Vigier. That's correct. Let's go. Let's get that you, properly. Let's give you that. And then AHL assistant is the last one. Um, I'll go assert by associate here. Uh, Jilson. Oh, we're still waiting for this person to get back to us, I guess. Yeah. Jilson. Okay, we're still waiting for Oscar. Jilson should be the next day. Yep. There he is. And then we just nice. need the last two. Please, Virginia. Yes, better yes. call Saul. Thank you, Saul. <laughs> and we got Thank God. Oh we're God. finally done with let this. Me, yeah, let me just double check, make sure we got everyone in place. Yep. Oh, no, we don't have a head coach for the AHL. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Almost forgot the most important one. Um, so that's the one that we didn't have signed with us. What was it again? It was overload, overload, crash, overload. I thought you had Father Guy. You didn't give him a contract? Uh, no, I think he rejected us. I like getting rejected. Yeah, it was this guy. This guy rejected us. So we'll go for someone else then, because he... Or, nope, that's it. Okay, we'll just offer him the moon, I guess. Oh, we don't Yay. have... Oh, yeah, you know, we have enough money to give him something. There, we'll go with that. There you go, buddy. Take that, and you can you can join your twin. Think about it. Where is his twin? Is it this guy? Is that his twin? Yeah, that's his twin. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Just side with us. Yes. yes thank we you. We got the twins. The twins are together now. Let's see. Let's see. This is our full coaching staff here. We got Piero Penn, Simon Vigier, Lee Caldwell. Are they the same? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> we have twins. We have two they sets are. of twins. <laughs> the twins are here. Oh, no. The UEA. <laughs> so bad. I love it. I'd rather have no face than that. <laughs> <laughs> I really would. It's awesome, man. I love it. Okay. Finally, we can sim to next That's season. So um, after streaming for an hour, we could finally get to the start of season two. This is one of our longest. Uh, hey, look, it's it's Steven's first time hosting. All right. So give him give him a break. Okay. Hey, the we, next the next ones are going to be faster. Yeah, exactly, guys. I mean, <laughs> We just oh. got here. We have to adjust to all the nonsense I mean, the that was year, here before. The year one, yeah, the year one off season always takes the longest. It gets smoother from here once we fill out with our guys more and more. Uh, so he wants us again. Just he wants us to earn money. Um, We're buyers, which is good. Twenty four home wins. That doesn't really seem like a lot. Uh, that's like just over half. And again, selling season. Tickets. All right. We will get into that in a second. First things first, though, let's deal with all this because this is quick. Make sure it's taken out. Take everything out of there. Everything out of there. 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 And everything into here. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Awesome. And we still have 2.2 left over, so we can use that later for scouts or coaches. Okay. Um... This takes two seconds. So don't mind me. Actually, just, you actually do this. You just press square. That's all you do. You just press square. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, Steve. Yes, it is, man. Look at that. We were selling Noah Dobson jerseys for less than market value. Wow. <laughs> you sold me there, Steven. <laughs> um, now that I know, I think I think I'm gonna rethink life. Yes, please do that. Uh, go back and. Go to the church, actually. You know, I you know the rest. God, I yeah. will ask God to fuck me. Well, Stuart Skinner is now better than Mike Smith. <laughs> wow. I think we have to trade him. Like, there, uh, unless we leave him just as an 80... Yeah, you know, we'll just leave him as an 83 for one year. Because Smith could retire and then he could be our backup. That's right. Defense. So one, two, three. We need to call someone up. Um, that's easy. That's just Slater Cuckoo. Quick, quick. Yes, quick, quick. Uh, four words. What the four words? Uh, sure, Perlini, they can be the extra four words. Uh, just make sure no one's left out in the AHL. Dylan Holloway. Uh, I think we'll leave him in the AHL for one more year. Like, these were stats last year. He could be a, no, a fourth-liner for us. <laughs> got superstar abilities. This guy is going to give us some good pluses. That is true, but 
Will we be hindering him by playing him on the fourth line, or no? You don't no. think so? Well, what's his fit? If it says he's an AHL like player, then it says he's a fourth line forward. Well, then he's gonna fit in the fourth line. He's not gonna be okay. Okay. Valley. He has a good opportunity to even grow to a third liner. It's true. And then yeah, just like that, I guess Shore could be the one to go down. Sure. Yeah, sure. 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 <laughs> sure. 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 For sure. <laughs> For sure, it's all. All right. Yeah. Uh, later. Later, skater. Okie dokie. Uh, preferred headlines there for now. Weak in the age. Oh. We'll see what this gives us here. It's garbage. Um, Holloway's on our second line apparently. He he fits well everywhere. Yeah. He's he's just. Oh, that's why our coach has balance all over the place. Yeah, okay. Let's let's see what we can do here. So let's try out of there. Go new there. Kofsky here. Oh god, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm trying to see Martin Fur for a second. No, not see Okay, try to put him on on the first but oh, I didn't even call. click him. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, see if Holloway can fit on the first with McLeod instead of McLeod. Oh boy! <laughs> oh my! Uh, Nick Wall. Well, yeah. Um, let's okay. We have one guy scratched, or we have two guys scratched actually. Let's see where Larson fits in actually. Uh, are you gonna... There we go. Yeah, that's better. That's Steven, I like this team. Uh as much as it's a little weak, it, at least it works. It should work well as a team. It should. Yes, that's the key word. Oh my god, we can even go Nuge there. We, I don't know, do you want Nuge as a third line guy or on the second line? I would rather him on the second. Yeah, at least we start with this and then see how it goes. I think we're good. That, but I don't want to Kofsky down there. I, I see why you're I see what you're saying. Like you don't want to have two snipers on that. I just want to see so, something like Larson. Yeah, but then it's all two way forwards. Yeah, screw that. Okay, we'll just go back to the way it was. I think that should be okay. That is the way it is. Yes, exactly. It's this is a solid at least top six. Top six should be okay. Yeah, I think we, we figured it out. Our depth is good. Um, Look at McDavid, man. Holy. Love it. Yeah. Love Defense. it. Defense, yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah, well, Pro Broberg and Bouchard not getting anything is. Move up. Uh, see if. No, oh, up, Steven. Okay, yeah, I want to see. Doesn't really I think do it's. Much. Go to forward. Shut down. The pinch cycle and Bouchard's of what? He's pinch also cycle. pinch cycle. It's because our think coach it'll be is fine. balanced. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, that, the only reason why our coach isn't really maximizing everyone is because all of his defensive pairs are just balanced. Balance. Balance. So unless, yeah. yeah, unless one of them has balance in their preferences, they're not going to fit. But, it, I mean, it doesn't hurt either. Right. Although apparently if you do that it hurts. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, whatever. This, we'll just, is, it. this, this is it. This is it. Which isn't it's not terrible. I'll say that. It's not I'm terrible. Happy. Power play. Yeah, all the right guys are on the power play. That looks okay to me. Maybe anyone instead of Stasny? Yeah, where is what's his name? Hopefully we already is there. Burkowski. There you are. Yeah, he can fit there. That's fine. Uh, four man, yeah, whatever. Penalty kill. Again, seems like all the right guys are on the penalty kill. Although I don't know. Oh no, he's a two way. Yeah, that's fine. Never mind. I like yep. it. Yep. Yeah, we're good. That's Zach fine. Aston Reese being there. I believe in him. Yeah, you know, I'd rather actually have Aston Reese here than McDavid. Just I feel like he will. Yeah, he brings it from a minus three to a minus one. So. Nope. 
like that. Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's just gonna be how it is. Uh, four and four. Yeah, sure. Those are okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. It's whatever. Goalies are good. Scratches. We got these guys. Uh, we can see how they fit. So he actually he has balance. So he'll be a good replacement no matter where he goes in. Oh, He's a good that. replacement too. Yeah. And even Berlini's a good replace. He can even be like a first line replacement guy. Interesting. He's a sniper. So interesting, interesting. All right. Uh, I guess are we ready to get some simulating done in a bit? Actually, I just realized. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to say yes. <laughs> I fooled you, Dylan Holloway. Did he wear number six in real life? Oh, it's gonna bother me. <laughs> oh no. Wait, why can't Paul wear number... He wears 20 in real life. Yeah, wear 20. So I think... I want to say Holloway wore 21. I can set him at that now. I can always change his stuff off camera for next time. Don't worry. Probably will, because that's the person I am. Uh, Only Martin, Steven, guys. Yeah, Martin Furk. 32 doesn't look like a Martin Furk number. It looks like a Martin Furk number. <laughs> uh, I don't think you wore 32. I feel like you wore... Maybe it is 32. I'll just leave it that for now. Anyways, like I said, I'll probably fix these off camera because I'm like that. I mean, we go in game. You never see it. That's true. It's just, it's just there. Oh, God. Before I sim, I do want to fix these, but that's going to take time. Oh, no. Steven. It's okay, screw it. I'll do it off camera. Because we'll just, uh, I don't know, we'll sim up to like what, January or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just go, we're already, we're already an hour ten into this. Yeah, let's see another 20 minutes, and then if everything goes smoothly, if everything yeah. hits, hits the fan, then we're going to have to make, uh, make some changes. Exactly. So we'll go, we'll go first 10 games here. Uh, auto do the promotion nights. So we'll get some McDavid bobblehead going for the boys. Woo! Yay, boys. All right. Very enthusiastic. Actually, should we should we slow sim the first game? Sure. Yeah, you I just realize that. Let's uh let's do that then. This is a preseason game. Yep. So go to the first game against Vegas. Yeah, we gotta be cap compliant, are we? Yes, we should be. Yeah, right? we should be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just every time I see that, I always go into like a mini panic. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, did I? <laughs> I think it was a bad idea to let you host. <laughs> Anyway, too much. <laughs> here we go. First game of the season in Vegas. Uh, let's see how we do. Vegas is already 1-0, and so they've won a game to start the season. Two shots. Oh, we're on the power play. I oh. died off quickly. And Zach Whitecloud opens the score, but Pooley Harvey gets it back two minutes Solid. later. Solid. Awesome, awesome. That revamped first line now. Got rid of Evander Kane and added Dylan Holloway. <laughs> Uh, but Mark Stone's going to put Vegas into the lead with a minute to go in the first period. What is Dylan Holloway? Is it power forward, right? Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. I will double check after. <laughs> All right. We'll check. Uh, Burakovsky on the third nice. line gets it done, but Mark so responds right away again. The goaltending not uh, hot. No. Well, this is, this is typical... First game of the season, you know, defensive system that we get one from Eric Gustafson, third pairing. We love uh, the defense yeah. and scoring. Oh, there's Nuge on the third or second line chipping yeah. in. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, like this is typical opening month of the season. You know, defensive systems aren't in place yet. You get a lot of high scoring games. Uh, it's just the way it goes, really. It's fair. The amount of the amount of overs that you win from. Like hitting, like just because games, like well, it'll be set at like a six and a half or six over, and you, you look at the two teams, it's like these teams suck defensively. <laughs> <laughs> Gustafson gets his second of the year already, second wow. of the game as well. Uh, we should. Oh, I speak yeah, too you soon. Wanna, yeah, oh, you, I spoke yeah, yeah, yeah. way too soon. Do you want to say anything else, Steven? You want to? Oh, I think I'm going to shut up for the rest of the stream and video. <laughs> uh, so take it away, Barton. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to go into overtime here and. Hopefully we can close it out. Uh, I think we're going to win. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> wow. I guess I'm banned too. Yeah, we're, we're going to just have the rest of this as a silent movie. 
Um, mm. Martin, you're gonna have to edit in like subtitles for the rest of this video now. I'll just get like the robot voices. <laughs> Let them make mine the that. Italian one. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, wow, Theodore with the assist there. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, Vegas is a good team, so they made the playoffs. We got a point. Yeah, we, we get a point. Exactly. We get a point. Next game, though, Battle of Alberta, the home opener. This is the game we should have watched. <laughs> yeah, well, let's watch that one, too, Stephen. Oh, Go. we will. You convinced me. Okay, but this time, let's not slow sim it. Let, like, skip the first yes. and the second and then just sim yes. the third. Okay. I like that one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> For off, for going off, <laughs> for Ferk's sake. Goaltending <laughs> uh, well, seems to be strong. <laughs> can you stop? <laughs> I'm gonna have a headache. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got Thank one you. of them back at least. Fully RV puts us back ahead by two. Now five minutes ago, I said it last. Oh god. <laughs> 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 this is this isn't real, man. <laughs> this one at least. Yeah, we did. Oh my god. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> I don't think you could do about laugh at that, guys. Oh god. Um. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up to the Philadelphia game. It'll be ten games into our new season. Uh. Yeah, I mean, simulating well so far. Although I feel like teams early season always sim different than later in the season. And yeah, but it didn't uh -huh. take long for that to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's not a oh, good, good start, finish to the 10 games. Yeah, 4-3-3 four, three, and three is a weird one. Uh, Holloway is a power forward, so we do have two power forwards with McDavid. That, but we did, that's okay. We did last yeah. year as well, though. Right. We did so last year. I wish, I wish that could work. I wish any of those could work, really. Okay, let me go go back up. All the way to play RV and McDavid now. Magnetic, close... Okay, no, oh, sorry. No, no, no. Oh, you wanted to see that. Close okay. quarters, magnetic, and crease crashes. That's okay. Well, how well yeah, is Holloway shooting, doing? hands, and power forward. How, how well is he doing? How well is that line doing right now? Minus, minus three, three, minus two, minus six. Oof. They're all minuses. Third line's okay. Fourth line is also okay. Yeah. Let's see, we can't do that. Ah, unless we do that and then maybe. Yeah. Um. I mean, we lose the plus five, but it's at least a sniper. Just do it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel. I feel. I like Borakowski better there. Yeah. I feel like this works too. Yeah, that definitely works. It's a good fit in the first line, so yes, we're not getting the plus five, but I think we needed a sniper there. Hmm. Or is that pushing it? Am I going too far now? Am I testing the limits of science with that one? I think one? This, this is okay. So what? Leave it or switch them? Switch it. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's true, because they were struggling as well. They were all minuses, so. Why not? Yeah, that doesn't do it. Oh, uh, do I want McLeod there though? Ooh. Ooh like this. What, what, what am I looking at? I, I, I don't. <laughs> I can't even remember what yeah, sure, we, there you go. we had. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that for now and then. We will. Because even here, we got two way forward playmaker, power forward, two way forward, sniper, sniper. I think that's why I like that better. There was a playmaker. Yeah. That. Yeah, no. We'll just leave that. I'm over there. You are. Yeah. We're going to waste so much time on the online. Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> go another 10 games. That's 10 right there. I like best line. No. Never. Bring it back, please. Never. Thompson's injured. <laughs> injured neck. Only for a little week or so. Not, not the worst injury to happen. A uh, good thing we know is that our scratch defender could fit in anywhere. Right. So, that's just, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Deal with that. 
Uh, yeah, look at that. He's back. Uh, well, he's playable, but we'll wait till he's fully healed. It's early in the year. Don't want a, another situation like dry settle last year. Yeah, I kept on getting injured. Although we, we waited till he was fully healed. It's true. Oh my god. Minus, Minus 17. 17. He's a clear go. Like, we gotta get rid of him. Yeah. Alright. Uh, we'll just wait till this is done, Simming. Hopefully we can bring it back here. Okay, seven, eight, and five. We're get losing a lot of games in overtime. We just got blowouts, and I, I'm I'm getting tired of seeing them. Yeah, so am I. Like this is this is bad. This is very bad. All right, let's see what's up in the market. Let's see, if find trade for Darnell Nurse maybe, and go from there. Yes. Although it's, it's unfortunate because he does fit the bill really well. Oh. Yeah, but he clearly is not. No one wants him. <laughs> no one wants him. Let's okay. see. What defensemen are available? Yeah, well, that's. I'm just going to go here and see the first team that. Look, Anna wants him. That's why I just checked the train block. And there then... are teams that want him. Okay. Why did you do that? You could have just gone through the trading block. In Don't tell me how to get my life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the president here. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That was that was okay. aggressive. That's okay. Right. <laughs> I'm sure I've done something like that. Uh, that's okay. It's all in good fun. Why are fun, you looking anyways. at betting? <laughs> no. I just want to see something. I'm looking at 86 and out. Pensura. Get out. Oh my god, there's like no one. There's no one here. There really is no one. Travis boy. Oh! Oh! Here no, they are. A here, lot of defensemen. Here yeah. they are, okay. We can we can come back to them. I just want to see the rest yeah. of the teams. It's okay. Uh, they're all draft picks. They're former Leafs. Uh, no, no. Not good enough. <clears throat> What's at that guy's picture? What? They want to trade away Brad Lambert? Ah, he's just a 71. He's my boy, though. Our boy. Our boy, yes, exactly. Disrespectful. Disrespect. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Brent. Brentford Burns. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chris Russell, he was on our team last year. Phil, he went to St. Louis and they already wanted Phil to trade him. Jeez. Uh, let's see. Leafs, please suck. Oh, of course, that's realistic. <laughs> Matthew, Matthew Nyes. I guess he's just been playing the AHL. Played for Windsor in the OHL last year. That's oh my. not true. He played college. But sure, I guess they had to get him in the game somehow. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's decent. He's very decent, that's for sure. I don't know why I'm like, taking a look at him. Uh, no one here, so a couple teams left. Unless... I think it's Minnesota, man. Yeah, unless Winnipeg has something here. No. I'm sold on Brody. Chaz Lucius. Oh, wow. What a name. All right, yeah, Brody. Uh, hopefully he fits all penalty hill lines. Dumba's all penalty, all pairings, so... Not driven to win. Broding, I would He's like injured. to. Have. He is injured. I don't really care. Uh, I really, w I would like to have a guy who can be defensively responsible. Dumba, he's not really there for the yeah, team. He's, I mean, okay. Dumb. It says that yeah. he's not there to win. He's you're right there. Uh, Broding, much better contract too than uh, Dumba. Well, not only dumb. No, they're actually similar. I was gonna say uh, well, nurse. You got six years on. Them. Yes, Bro the years. Yeah, that's true. I was talking more about nurse, but yeah. Actually, how old are these two? He's twenty nine. What's Dumba? Dumba's twenty eight. So yeah, they're both about the same age. He's, they're, he's injured as well. What the hell, guys? You're just trying to give us injured players. I'll take. I'll take that. Uh, they don't want nurse though, but too bad he's getting him. <laughs> I think uh, we're going to have to throw in a second. Yeah. And you know what's a good thing, though? <laughs> we have a lot of seconds. We got a lot of force. We got a lot of, we got a lot of everything, man. I think one of these thirds will do it. Uh, uh, try it out if you, if you think so. We'll go here. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. 
We'll do yeah, our third yeah. next year. And a bunch of fours. And yeah, here we'll just give you. Uh, we'll give you that fourth. We'll give you. Uh, we'll give you that fifth, and we'll we'll give you. We'll give you our seventh. Yeah, there. <laughs> That's called management right here. <laughs> here we go. This is proper management. Oh man, probably oh, probably could have kept a few of those trades, but that's okay. Oh yeah, we do need to call up a defenseman now. Yeah. Because we brought in. No, we don't actually. Well, you're right. We have one on the bench. Yes, we're fine. We just Quick. need to edit. Quick. We just need to edit lines here. I'll put uh, Slater Cuckoo into the lineup. Cuckoo. Uh, there we go. He's gonna play for now. Um. Should actually check how long Brody Brodeen is out for. December <laughs> fourth. <4th. laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. December fourth isn't that far away. We're at the end of November here. It's like literally next week. Okay. Which is okay. Um. Yeah, there it is. The game against LA. He might even be back for one of these. Um. So let's just go to December first. We won that game and then we lost the next one. Classic. Okay, yeah. he is playable now. Will he be back in time for Calgary? Mm, no. Oh, we are in the draft this year. That's okay. We don't have a first anyways. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. Two seconds for Dumba. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. We're going to have to climb uh, that I, though, right? I think so. Uh, did he have any new superstar abilities? Oh, uh, we can double check. Did he? Did he? I think he should. He doesn't. Go. Wow, I feel like he should. He's a good player. At least one or two. Yeah, right? Like, give him something. Uh, come on, Brodeen. Be playable now. There oh, you are. We've won a few. Oh, so, Brodeen making his debut with the team, and he's a plus five as well. That's awesome. Mainly because of his shutdown ability. I think we needed we needed a guy who had superstar abilities who's defensive defenseman. Which is team. what we got. Exactly. That's exactly. Now we have offensive defenseman, one who's superstar and one who's not. And then we have two-way defensemen, who both of them are have superstar mm -hmm. abilities and X factors. I think we have a team that's that's stitched pretty well together. Yes. Do we leave them like that or do yeah, we yeah, do yeah, 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 yeah. How are these guys doing? Minus five. They're bringing it back. I think they just need stability. That's, yeah. We're going to be bringing it. Exactly. Uh, I just want to see. Uh, thing shouldn't be. He is playing penalty kill. Good. 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 Anakin. Uh, sorry about that. My inner Palpatine came out there. Let's see how the plus minus. Yep. They're sort of coming back. They are coming back as well. Um, now the minus is on the third line and the fourth line. It's okay. We can't win. No, we there's, there's something against us. Uh, I mean, we have Johan Larson here. Do we maybe give him a shot or? Ah. Uh, I mean, that thing is like, is he better than like Nick Paul or like he's so good defensively? He has nothing offensively though, but he's so good defensively. Say, Paul's just he's good, but you can't replace just Paul. Just keep it like that. Just yeah. Keep it. Just keep it, and then. One like that'll be our next thing after Brodeen. Yeah. Just play around with that. So let's go another six games here. Actually, we'll go seven. We'll get to thirty-one, and we can do ten games to finish off the episode, or something like that. Um, results are looking better. Definitely looking better now. A lot better. Yeah. Uh, let's just take a look. See how uh, Brodeen's first couple games went with the team. Perfect. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> He's a pl even. <laughs> <laughs> pl even. I thought it was a plus seven, but I realized that's his overall stats. I mean, he's fine. He's yeah. not, can't complain yet. We've been winning more. His so. only goal was a game-winning goal. That we'd like to see. Yeah, he's eating, performer. playing minutes too, which is awesome. He can eat up those minutes. All um, he wants. A lot of hits. 14 hits. He's averaging two hits a game, a block a game. Doesn't really give it away. Takes away a lot, too. Like, those were much better than him in Minnesota. Yeah. Small sample size, but still much better stats early on. So, 
I think we needed we needed that. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. And then yeah, the shard goes like oh, oh dangerous, dangerous team. Um, you're gonna hate me for this. <laughs> stop, stop. What number is he wearing? He is wearing 25. Good. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that the number that Nurse was wearing, or was Nurse? Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they literally just took the same one. That's funny. Um, anyways, we'll go 10 games here to finish off this episode. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So after Columbus, here we go. <clears throat> this will be halfway through the season. Uh, ben Sherratt, you are not worth two seconds. You're actually worth two firsts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> According to Florida. Uh, Ryan they Lomberg. Two, they didn't trade two firsts. They traded one first. That was one. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, my bad. They uh, traded two firsts for Lajeru, I think. Yes, that was it. That was that's exactly what it was. Steven, all I see is win, win, win. Yeah, all I hear is you jinxing. <laughs> or maybe me. Oh god. It is you. <laughs> Oof. Negative attitude. That's okay. Man. You know what though? That's okay. I'll take uh, second in our division. Only the four points back of first. Uh the teams below us, though, do have games in hand. Like, the Sharks, if they win both their games, they're ahead of us by one. Kraken will be tied with us. Both wild cards are in our division, though, so that's good to know. The yeah. Flames at 43 points outside, they're basically the line. So that's good. We're, we've improved. We've definitely improved. And to prove that, we'll take a look at some, some stats to finish off the episode here. And the next stats. Yeah, some stacky stacks. Um, so yeah, I guess next episode we'll go trade deadline and then hopefully playoffs. Yeah. Hopefully we make it. Um, three goals per, goals against per game. I would like to see that come down more. Maybe that's something we do at deadline. We add. Well, maybe it's adjusting now. Maybe what I, we don't know from when Nurse was there. Nurse was a minus 17. If you, that's that, that could mean a lot. Well, we can we can check quickly before we finish the episode. We can I check. The what, one, the one thing we can go off of is power play and and uh, penalty kill actually okay well power play is 23.5 that's very good penalty yeah. kill 87.1 which so I that means everything is good yeah i agree uh, things are are good we haven't played many home games like road games look at that we played 24 road games we've only played what 17 home games so we have a wow. lot of home games in the second half of the season so Edmonton fans will be very proud to hear that. They can see their team a lot more at home. I think that uh, looking at, at the home and away, you know, home 9-4-4 four, and four yeah. versus 12-what-and-what. What? Well, 12. every team, every team usually, except for Seattle, every team usually has a better home record than away record. That's just the way it goes. Yeah. Um, I don't know why Seattle's the outlier. They kill it on the road, but at home they can't do anything i guess Sorry. anaheim too <laughs> look at anaheim on the road <laughs> one I, we stole john gibson from them i don't know how they're <laughs> even here i don't know i mean their goals against it, how are they doing this well <laughs> like they're their let's goals against stats let's look at stats for our our players yeah hold on um let's take a look at the conference where we stack up we're there <laughs> Uh, let's just look at the league quickly here. Let's see where we stack up in these big stats. Yeah, we're kind of we're middle, we're middle of the pack there. You can see uh, based on that scroll bar on the side. Uh, same thing here. I think here we're also we're just we're in the bottom half, but just power play though we should be nice. Yeah, that's much better. And pen skill. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, what about the home record? Where do we... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, Mr. Don't worry, I'm not that bad. Uh, well, someone's well. got to help McDavid out. Second line, too. Maybe we got to change up something there, because clearly Drysaddle, Nuge, and... Is it Burke? We're going to have to put dry saddle up with the f on the first. Okay. And then new giant or, or uh, we have to find something that works on the second line. Does new, yeah. does new have superstar abilities? Yes, he does. He has one. <laughs> Better than none. That's uh, true. It's not very good though. Uh, no. Um, 
Dobson's a minus five. Uh, where is Brodine? Plus three. So that that top pairing has improved since he's arrived. Let's go. And look at that. Every goal he scores is a game-winning goal. <laughs> this man is a machine. Give away, take away type. Uh, check that. That was sad. Well, look, look at when he's playing for us. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot that's everything. Um, you're right. Oh, yeah. So I guess yeah, his other two minus goals. Minus four with us? Oh, yeah. He is a minus four with us. Oh, boy. Um, We're winning games, so I don't know. starting to give it away. Yeah, it's weird. Like... I don't know. I think it. I think it's more so on the forwards because our defense is f better. I'm not gonna say fine because it could use some improvement. I forgot to check out his stuff. Um, but we definitely well. They're not helping us out, but I. I feel like that's more just because of the team in front of them. Mm, it's inconsistent. I don't know. We don't have enough. We don't have enough firepower right now. Relying on just Dry Saddle and McDavid is not working out. No, exactly. And like, the fact that they're the only, like, the closest overall to them is Nuge on the forwards. Like, yeah, that's not doing it. So we could go maybe something like that or even, like, nope, that won't do anything. Go for something like that, I guess. Uh, I never even thought about him. He's a playmaker. That doesn't do anything either. How are, how are his stats? Minus nine. Not going well. No, Burkowski's been the only good player. Like, I, I feel bad demoting him, but also, like, we need to change something up because, yeah, we need these guys to get going. Like, he is going, but we need Drysidle to really start picking it up. I feel like, yeah, maybe this is what we have to do play them oh, together really? and then like we definitely we need a better second line sniper or something like we need we need a better first line right winger here too but we're hoping he develops yeah so that's the thing i don't know a lot of it is just hoping that guys develop but i don't know man uh is there anyone else that's like dylan holloway like Just basically stay the same. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're gonna leave out for the next episode. Um, oh, oh, look at that! That's that's interesting. Yeah, a little bit, but Poyarvi, I, I like to get him to grow. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm gonna put things back like this at least. Leave it like yeah. Leave things like this. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. No, I don't know either. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll figure it out. Maybe maybe we need to get Johan Larson in the lineup for, like, uh, like hey, it's our fourth line. It's not going to change anything. <laughs> really, we need to go trade that line and figure out who we want to pick up. Mm -hmm. Agreed. We might have to go ahead and acquire a bigger player on the second line. Yeah, potentially. We definitely need to strengthen our top six forwards. Uh, the defense, like I said, I think that's fine. That will. We just need to get the forward core better, and I think the the defense will and goaltending will both uh, see dividends because of that. Let's not. We won't be focusing on bottom six. We'll it'll be the top six only. Ex yes, exactly. We'll use guys. If anything, we can use guys from our bottom six to trade for guys for the top six. That, that is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Alrighty, everyone. Well, thanks for watching this episode. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more and of us destroying your favorite <laughs> NHL franchises. Yes, yes. Destroy. Yes. And yes, destruction is my favorite. My favorite tool. And yeah, hope you're all alright and see you next time. Take it easy. See you, boys. Peace.